This is the lockpicking lawyer, and you would think by now that I'd stop trying to make sense of the design decisions made by Master Lock. But the lock I have for you today definitely made me scratch my head. It's the Master Lock Model 8361D Cable Lock, and my first concern is that this is marketed as a bicycle lock. It's a thin cable that can be defeated quickly with side cutters, a tool commonly used by bike thieves. For that reason alone, I think this is plainly inadequate for its intended purpose. But moving to the lock mechanism, it uses a pin tumbler core with what I believe are four standard pins. Normally, something like this could be raked open easily, but Master Lock made this in the form of a dimple lock, and it has a particularly small keyway. That means a few things. First, I don't have a dimple rake that will fit in the keyway, so raking is out. Second, because it's a dimple lock, single pin picking can only be accomplished with more specialized picks and skills. But if you do have them, picking this open is fairly trivial. Let me show you how it's done. I'm going to use this wiper insert as a turning tool and this multi-pick dimple pick. Okay, number one is loose, click out of two, three is binding, nice click on three, four is binding, click out of four, back to one, got to click out of one, and this is open. Okay, folks, as you saw, with the right tools, picking this open is not difficult. But the real concern here is the thin cable, which would not be difficult to cut and would likely make a user's bike one of the easier targets on the rack. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.